Hello and welcome to the show. Melania Trump has been savaged by US talk host Jimmy Kimmel, who accused the first lady of digging an escape tunnel or shallow grave in the White House lawns as she broke ground for a new tennis pavilion. The first lady posed with a shovel as she celebrated the groundbreaking of a project on the White House grounds. Melania said in a tweet, Thank you to all who will help in making this legacy piece possible for future first families to gather at and enjoy for years to come. It will be a testament to American craftsmanship and skill. Speaking on his show, Mr. Kimmel said, Meanwhile, as her husband tries to dig up dirt on his opponents, the first lady is building a tennis pavilion on the White House lawn. For real. As if they're going to be there to enjoy it. There she is, breaking ground in her most rugged pair of construction stilettos. She's definitely digging an escape tunnel, right? There's either an escape tunnel or a shallow grave. I love that with all this chaos going on, Melania thought, I will build a tennis pavilion. And now, once that's built, all guests of the White House will have a front row seat to this. Mr. Kimmel then showed his audience a picture of the president playing tennis. The savage remarks from the chat show host came as Melania faced humiliation for failing to wear a red ribbon badge while giving a speech at the red ribbon rally in Virginia. The first lady wore a black dress but did not wear the metal pin with the red ribbon symbol on it which other people at the event had. Melania was defended by East Wing staff who said she hadn't received a pin in advance of the event. Mr Norris, who was wearing a pin, attended the Drug Enforcement Administration's National Red Ribbon Rally to tr promote the upcoming Red Ribbon Week. Speaking to the crowd, Melania said, I am so pleased to be here and for the opportunity to talk about the importance of being drug free and helping to share the message of Red Ribbon Week. Today is an opportunity to be proactive in our efforts to eliminate drug use and addiction among our youth. For Red Ribbon Week, students can sign a pledge that if honoured will lead to a lasting positive impact on their lives and the lives of their friends and peers. We need to continue encouraging teenagers and young adults that have fallen into drug addiction to be brave enough to admit it, to talk about it and to get help. This also includes addiction associated with e-cigarettes and vaping. Thank you.